going on, Xanderverse? It's your boy Xander Wayne here, the Dreadlock Nerd, here with another episode of Dreadlock Nerd Talk. Uh, as the title of this video suggests, I'm here to talk about the recent, the very recent rumor. I'm going to stick with the term rumor because I don't know how real this thing is, but it's been a buzz among the geek and nerd universe. And that, of course, is the idea, is the rumor that Ben Affleck is looking to step down as the Batman. Um, it's already been reported that he will not be directing the Batman, and they've been looking for a new director. I believe Matt Reeves has been tapped on the shoulder to direct the standalone Batman film. But now rumor has it is that Ben Affleck is naturally now looking to step down from being the Batman, as opposed to not just directing it. Um, I am taking this... And I hate actually using this term, but I am taking this with a big grain of salt. A big grain of salt. Only because of the simple fact that, aside from the fact that he was praised as his role as the Batman in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, many people have actually grown accustomed him, to him being the Batman. And recent interviews have proven that he actually enjoys playing the Batman character. But... According to comicbook.com, and I'm not going to read the entire article, I'm going to say, I'm going to start from here. While many of us, it says, while many of us have hoped that he would put an end to all the drama surrounding the Batman, John Campia, who I actually follow as I am subscribed, I am subscribed to the Collider News channel, and I follow John Campia on Twitter as well. John Campia is now claiming that, uh, that three separate sources have told him over the past four days or Mark V, considering today, that Ben Affleck no longer wants to be the Dark Knight in the DC Extended Universe. Quote, Ben Affleck, make no mistake, he does want out. Can't be shared on today's episode of Collider Talk, which I haven't watched yet. I am going to look for that after I'm done with this video. He doesn't want to be Batman anymore. I've been told Ben Affleck is talking with Warner Brothers in an attempt to get out of being Batman. And if they do not let him out of being Batman, the standalone Batman film that ultimately happens will be the last time we see Ben Affleck as Batman. Cap Campia himself, which he's usually good for doing this, offered up some disclaimer ahead of the statement, but his statements and issuing of sources were both presented as definitive. This also isn't the first time someone has reported talk within WB of Affleck leaving a role. Um... The drama surrounding Warner Brothers and the DCEU is palpable, to say the least. It is highly palpable. Um, with, with the lukewarm success of Man of Steel, the very divisive Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, the not well-received Suicide Squad, issues with The Flash losing its director and then being rewritten from scratch. Um... It is very easy to buy into the hype. It's very easy to buy into the drama at this point. But unless we get word from the horse's mouth themselves, the only thing we can do is take these as speculation. Um, again, I, like many people, felt that Ben Affleck as Batman and Dawn of Justice was definitely one of the highlights of the movie. I will be the first to admit that when I it was announced that he was going to be playing Batman, I was taken back. There are a lot of people that I could have... Actually, not a lot. There's a couple of people that I thought could have been better for playing Batman. However, upon looking at his work and seeing him in Batman v Superman, I was on board the Batfleck bandwagon. I was on board. Um, many of us had hoped that he would be directing the standalone Batman film. It just made sense as he is a pretty good director himself. Although, Live By Night turned out to be a flop in the box office, which is quite sad. But, you win some, you lose some. In any case, him dropping out of directing the Batman, while, you know, it's a little discouraging, at the same time, it's still understandable. And considering the fact that there's been talks about trying to get the script together, you know, him not being happy with it, or DC or Warner Bros. not being happy with it, you know, it's, it's just a lot to take in. And the only reason why I can agree to something like this or I can understand something like this happening is because, you know, you're going back and forth, you know, trying to get this done, trying to get that done, trying to agree on this, trying to agree on that. 
you know, you lose, you lose the excitement. You lose the excitement of being a part of something, you know. And it's not, this is, and it's not, it's not just a DC extended universe that has these problems. Everyone's had these problems to some extent or another. But, you know, again, at the end of the day, as I said in the beginning, I can only take this with a big grain of salt. Unless Ben Affleck himself says something about not wanting to be the Batman anymore, all we can do is speculate. Now, I will say this, though. If he is in talks of getting out of his contract of being Batman, or if the standalone Batman movie is the last time we are going to see Ben Affleck in the Batsuit, might I suggest call Scott Atkins. I don't care what you guys say. I will continue to lobby for Scott Atkins to be Batman. Before Ben Affleck was cast, and like I said before, there's this is nothing against Ben Affleck, nothing at all. I love the guy. But in my honest opinion, and you can ask many other comic book aficionados, comic book movie fanatics, anyone who loves Batman, everyone I think will agree with me in saying that Scott Atkins was the ultimate pick for Batman. The look, the face, the martial arts ability. There's no way he shouldn't have been Batman. There's just no way. So, to end this thing, if this is the last time we are going to see Ben Affleck in a bat suit, whether it's in Justice League or whether it's in a standalone Batman film, I want to say thank you to Ben Affleck, first of all, for taking on his role, which isn't an easy role. And to WB, DC, Scott Atkins is available. Call him. Just just call him. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this little piece of information. Do you think it's true? Do you think it's untrue? What do you think should happen? What do you think they should try to do to fix the situation? Or let me know who you think should be the next Batman if Ben Affleck steps down. Stay tuned for more Dreadlock Nerd Talk as more Geek and Nerd related news is passed down my way. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Share this video with all your friends. Get them in on the conversation. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.